What's up everyone? I'm Jesse Kazam and welcome back to another Escape from Tarkov video. In this video, we're going to be talking about a money run on customs where you can hit five safes uh, really, really close to each other around the dorms area. This is a great way to make money. It's a great way to get some quest items or farm valuables for barters, all sorts of stuff like that. I stream Escape from Tarkov a few days a week. All my links will be down below. I'd absolutely love to have you stop by the stream, uh, chat for a little bit, ask any questions about the game, or just hang out. Uh, we also have a Discord that's linked down below as well, where you can ask questions, get new player help, just connect with other players, or even find some people to raid with. But with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and dive right in. So like we said, this is a customs loot run. Um, there are five safes all in the dorm area. Um, what I love about this run is you can get all of these keys if you don't have any really easily off of scavs or there you can get them all really cheap on the flea market. Um, there are five safes all located really, really close to each other in the dorm area. Um, it's a great way to make money. Uh, there's, uh, I'll drop a link down below to the, uh, wiki page that talks about safes, the safe loot pool. I feel like got buffed. Maybe it didn't, but you can definitely pull some really high tier valuable stuff out of there. A lot of money that you can accumulate by running these. Um, and then also a lot of quest items, like some of the streamer items even spawn in there. If you're going for Kappa container or something like that. Now, the thing about this run is it's, I would definitely recommend bringing a gun. It's not the safest run. You know, this isn't like the super easy, just like hatching in and, you know, shove a bunch of stuff in your secure container. Um, the scav boss on customs has a potential to spawn in either of the dorms and uh, to encourage, encourage more combat. They've put like little pockets of three or four scavs in uh, sometimes both of these dorms. So not only do you have to worry about scav boss, but even if he's not there, there's basically always going to be scavs there and then secondly it is a highly contested area for pvp so a lot of players know about the uh, marked key the marked key is uh you know on the third floor it can spawn almost anything in the game i mean weapons cases money cases ammo cases docks cases key tools all sorts of stuff and it, it's pretty close proximity to this. So this room is really contested but if you're there really early or if you wait wait out towards the end of a raid you can get these safes, uh, almost all of them, almost every time. So I would definitely recommend bringing a gun because you're most likely going to get into a little bit of combat, even if it's just via scavs. But that even helps the profit potential. You might get a backpack for them, rig a few weapons, and you've made even more money. But really quick, before we take a look into customs, let's just take a look at the keys. On the two, uh, the three snorry dorms, they're both on the second floor, rooms 204 and 214. These keys are not very expensive, 4,000 rubles and 60,000 rubles and on the two-story dorms which is a little bit safer it's going to be a little bit less contested for pvp uh on the they're all on the first floor you've got 105 which is on like a weird locked end we'll look at 1500 rubles um 114 26,000 or that was 110 this is 114 11,000 so for you know, 100,000 rubles, you can get all five keys, uh, throw them in like a docs bag or something like that. And you have access to five safes really close to each other, all um, for under 100,000 rubles. So let's go take a look at what that uh, kind of looks like in customs. So we're here at the dorms area on customs. Uh, all of the safes are found in these dorms. So really close proximity for uh, quite a lot of loot. Uh, we've got obviously the three story dorms over here on the left and the two story dorms over here on the right. So starting with the two story dorms, there's three safes on the bottom floor. This one is only accessible via this door. You've got a cage right here that you can't get through. So it makes it a little bit more inconvenient. You have to wrap around here, but it's room 105. Um, and in here, you've just got a safe. Uh, I don't think any other loot spawns here, but you've got that there. Wrapping around back to the front of the building. Uh, if you take a left on the first floor, once you come inside, uh, there's two built two rooms that are just opposite of each other um, and they are 114 and 110 now the nice part about two-story dorms like we were saying it's a little bit less contested when it comes to players so in this room you've got a safe you've got a computer so flash drives and graphics cards can potentially spawn and you've got meds so this one is pretty nice uh, this one was 114 and 110 so yeah, like we said, it's a little bit less contested. You know, there's no, you know, marked room here. So uh, people will play this a little bit less, but you definitely can still get into some battles. Uh, some random miscellaneous spawn, uh, loot spawns there. And then you've got another safe right there. Now we'll take it over to the three-story dorms. 
um, the three-story dorms is accessible via the front door all three floors on the left side the side that's near this construction on the back side of the building only the second floor opens up uh, so you can access the second floor you know three different ways which is nice because both of these are on here there's one room at each end basically so we jump up on this room 204 and we'll open this up now this one is a little bit different if i remember correctly yeah so this is the one there's a weapons crate right here um like right there there's a shotgun that spawned in there with an sks mag but on top is a safe and this is the same uh loot pool and stuff like that as a regular safe so it's weird a lot of people don't realize that these are safes um but they are and you can definitely get some some good stuff out of there and then uh none of that's lootable yeah and then we run to the other end and we get to room 214 and in here we've got just another safe i believe yeah some random loot spawns on the beds there and then you've got another safe um so we didn't even loot the three over in two story but just from these two a lot of miscellaneous rubles uh you can get euros which are pretty valuable teapots and stuff like that um there's a few quest items that are valuable that you need and so that's it five safes the, and then what's even greater is that you don't have to run up and down tons of flight of stairs all three safes are on the first floor of two-story both of these safes are on the second floor of the three-story dorms uh so you never have to go upstairs so the marked room is you know right up here up on the third floor if you have that key and you're the first one here you know absolutely i'd hit that first and then maybe run to these um but you know you're if you're the first one here looting all these safes you might be you know you know asking for pvp because people are going to be pushing this direction but another great thing about this run is that if the car is here so the uh the car extract requires i believe seven thousand it's either seven thousand or nine thousand rubles it'll be right here it's not right now but hitting five safes you will almost always have the amount of money that you need in rubles and so if you just filled your bag up you took me maybe hit marked room and you're trying to get out as soon as possible you can hit this hide in a bush it's a 60 second timer and then you can extract right here or you know you can just run to your extracts um but that's it that's the that's the customs loot run uh what's great about it is that it's simple it's not confusing it's all in tight spaces but once again you've got that downfall of this is a pretty highly contested area um uh, i there were a few times where every time i played customs i would just play the first half of the raid however i want it and then i'd come to this side of the map uh the second half of the raid and almost all the pvp had already happened here marked room was almost always hit but i would be able to go hit all five of these safes and just start racking up money and valuables um bitcoins gp coins all that stuff so uh in my opinion it's definitely worth the keys are really really cheap um and yeah so i hope that helped i hope that this is maybe just like a, a little something extra to do a different way to make a little bit of money on customs and that this is uh incredibly profitable for you Thank you all so much for taking the time to check out this video. Drop a thumbs up if you liked the video and think about subscribing for more content like this. I'm always trying to create Escape from Tarkov content that helps shorten the learning curve of the game and get you in your raids having fun as soon as possible. Uh, drop a comment down below if I missed anything in this video or if there's any guides you'd like to see me make or if you have any questions about the video. Thank you again for stopping by and we will see you all on the next one.